Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I want to explain uh, how to do a ramp test for your OM Tech laser. So I have a 60 watt red and black that you can see here. And what you'll notice is that I've got a couple pieces of wood sitting in the laser right now uh, in the bed. One of them being a piece of two by four and another being a piece of scrap three quarter plywood that I had laying around. So um, the goal here is we want to make a line um, from one end to the other and ideally what we should see by this side being raised up off the bed and this side being down on the bed we should see the line that the laser makes will turn somewhat of an hourglass shape so it should be thick it should gradually get thinner and then it should start getting thick again as we get further away from the focus point, the focal distance. So what we're trying to find here is the ideal focal distance and the distance that we want the, the laser, the, the lens, which is up in here, and we can't really measure from there. So we're gonna go from the bottom and we want that to go to, we wanna find the distance to the top of the material. So, I have, again, I have it set up. I have a piece of two by four, I have a piece of three quarter. You could use whatever you want. I recommend using something a little bit heavier, the three quarter board there. And the reason being is that it's not gonna sag. And when you go to make your measurements, you wanna get an accurate measurement. So you'll wanna get good results. And by having a stiffer piece of wood there is gonna allow you to get better accurate measurements. So I've got the piece of wood in there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a quick measurement here and I see that I'm about about 20 inches. Uh, it's a little more, but I don't need to be exact. So I'm gonna jump over to the computer and I'll meet you there. Okay, so we're over at the computer now. And what the goal is gonna be here is to make a straight line for the laser to run um, a quick, simple program. Uh, so I've used, I typically use uh, current position and then I choose my job origin. I'm going to choose it as a top left. I'm going to make a line, a simple line, straight line. I'm going to select it and then I'm going to change it to 20 inches that I measured earlier. Press enter and it should be good. So I have it selected as this layer three. I have my speed is 200 and my min max power is 20. You can use whatever you feel comfortable with. And again, I have top left, so you can see my green dot here is the, the left side of that, um, that line. So I wanna make sure my laser is set up to the left side. So um, now I'm ready to go ahead and run the test, so I'm gonna take you back over to the laser. Okay, so we're back at the laser, and we were just in light burn. We drew our line, and we checked our coordinates. And as you can see, I have the laser set up to the left side of the material. I know I had about 20 inches from my measurement earlier. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and run the ramp test. Now, I have the cover open. I'm not gonna be looking at it. I do have safety glasses too. I do not recommend you do it this way. Um, by all means, make sure you close your cover when you go ahead and do it, do the test. So um, you protect your eyes and protect your environment. I'm only doing this for the visual for this video. So I'm going to go ahead and step over to the computer here. I'm going to press um, start and you'll see, you should see the laser go ahead and go. But first I got to turn on my water and my inline fan. Um, so the way I do it is I have smart plugs. So I say, Alexa, turn the laser on. So it kicks on my fan and my water pump. Uh, I like to let them run for a few seconds just to make sure the water is really getting through the tube. And you'll see here, I'm going to press the, uh, the start play, start button right now. Alexa laser off. Okay, so now what I have is you can see that it made a line. And you can see it, it's a little fat here. It's really skinny right there and I'm really fat here. So I'm gonna bring you in a little closer. 
so you can see that line and see how it gets really nice and skinny like right in that area that's what we want to see and it gets real fat again too so again it's more like an hourglass right so again it's, it starts wide gets skinny and then wide again so we're going to want to measure it like right in this area here I'm going to put you back on the tripod so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead I'm going to reach in here and I'm going to mark that area right there and that's where I feel it's this this the the best smallest thinnest line that I have available so I then come over to my control pad right here and what I'm going to do is I want to move the laser over top of that area the laser nozzle so I'm just going to bump it and I got it actually pretty close there um, and then what I could do is I could tweak it in light burn just a little bit to get it right over that spot so I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'm going to catch up with you in a minute okay so we're back at the laser here um, and I paused you for a minute and what I did was I focused or I, I put the, the red dot directly above that line that I made. And what I found, uh, or what I'm going to find here, is I have this gauge that I've made. And you can see there's little steps in it. Uh, it's flat on the bottom and it has various numbers. So it goes 0 0.69, blank, 0.72, blank, 0.75. So each, each, each step is 15 thousandths. Um, and then every two steps is 30 thousands. 0.75 minus 0.72 is 0 0.03, so that's 30 thousands. Um, and what I want to do is I want to take this and I want to put it perpendicular to the line this way because if I put it parallel, then I'm going to be skewed um, and it was going to give me false results. So again, I'll put it perpendicular to the line, I'll sit it in here, and it's just perfect right there. It touches that one. Um, and that's the one between the 750 and the 780. So uh, I'm going to call that the 765, um, which is again, it's going to be it's going to be right in between the 750 and the 780. So that's 765. So that's what I know my distance from the bottom of my nozzle to the top of my material should be is 0.765 inches. So I have another video of how to. Um, do the setup for autofocus um, within the within the um, controller through Lightburn, um, and and it walks you through the steps of how to actually do the programming. So um, please check that out, uh, especially if you have an autofocus machine. You definitely want to check that out because you're going to want to see how to make that program. Otherwise, when you run the auto pro or the autofocus program, it's not going to do anything good for you. But uh, basically, if I pull that out. Uh, again that's that's what I want is I want to achieve that seven six five that step right there right underneath my nozzle so um, that's the goal if you have a manual focus uh, I believe you have a knob in this area over here what you'll do is you'll still use the same gauge and you'll want to crank that manually to bring the bed up until you get to the spot or the number that you found uh, depending on the lens you have, this gauge may or may not be good for you. You may need to adjust it. I have it on my website um, where you can download it. I'll put the link to the website uh, on, in the description. And then you could, if you want to download this, um, this tool uh, or the SVG for it, you can, you can cut it out just exactly like this or you can modify it to whatever your needs are. So again, this was the idea is to find, do a ramp test to find uh, the focal distance which is the, the distance from the bottom of the nozzle to the top of the material. It's really the bottom of the lens to the top of the material, but since we can't measure the lens, I'm using the bottom of the nozzle to the top of the material. So any questions, feel free to leave me a message. Um, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, I'll look for you on the next one and uh, follow along. Thank you again.